Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing another terminal based application. I'm going to be reviewing another terminal based system monitoring tool. I've already reviewed a couple of them. Recently I reviewed HTOP and I reviewed Glances. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Inmon. Inmon, we pull up their website here. Their site is hosted at SourceForge. Inmon is short for Nigel's Performance Monitor. It is a uh, system administrator tuner benchmark tool that gives you a huge amount of important performance information in one go. That data can be outputted in two different ways on screen, which is what we're going to be doing today. You can also save the data to a comma, comma separated file for later analysis. So that's pretty cool for you uh, system administrator types out there. Inmon is in pretty much everybody's repos, I think. I know it's in Debian and Ubuntu and Arch's repos. I'm pretty sure it's in Gentoo's repos, too. I haven't checked Fedora or SUSE, but Inmon is a, is a pretty common program. Uh, it should be in, in most everybody's repos. If it's not, though, from Inmon's uh, SourceForge page here, you can get a tarball and build it from a tarball. Okay, to launch in mine, you simply open up your terminal of choice uh, and type in M O N in mine, hit enter. And the first thing you will see is this little, uh, it's almost like a help screen at the very start of the program. All you have is the title of the program in mine and then a list of hotkeys. These hotkeys are what display whatever system information you're interested in viewing. So you see in the list, the first thing is C for CPU. So if I type C on the keyboard, I get some CPU information. I have six cores on this machine, so it lists all six of the cores of the CPU. I have user percentage, system percentage, weight percentage, idle. Also on the hotkey list, there was M for memory. So we have memory stats here, total, free, used, uh, buffers, Looks like some swap cached uh, information. Also in the uh, hotkey list there was a D for disk and that's the uh, disk IO. We also have uh, R which is, stands for resources and this is the uh, Linux and processor details. Uh, and I've actually run out of screen real estate here in my terminal so I need to get rid of some of this information here so if I type R again it gets rid of that resources information. If I type C, it gets rid of the CPU information. M gets rid of the memory information. D gets rid of the disk I.O. information. Uh, other hotkeys, K was uh, kernel information, so here are some kernel stats. J, which stands for journal, is uh, some file system information. Let me get rid of that since it takes up a lot of the screen here. T was top processes. And what this does is it basically lists on the top command inside in mind so that's pretty cool other hotkeys we also had in for network information and the last hotkey I will discuss was uh, will be H which is our help information all this does is basically bring back up that list of hotkeys there's not that many of them in mind is not you know that powerful of a program I mean it lists a lot of information but it's very simple, very easy to use. If I quit Inmon by typing Q, get back to my command line here, uh, I'm going to view the man page for Inmon. So man, M-A-N, space, Inmon. And this is our manual page for Inmon. And it all fits on one screen of my terminal at this resolution. It is a very short man page. There's just a handful of uh, flags you can invoke when you run Inmon from the command line. So I hope you guys find Inmon a, uh, a useful tool. I'm going to continue reviewing a lot more of these terminal-based applications. Uh, there's a lot of terminal-based system monitoring tools. I've, I've reviewed a lot of the popular ones already, HTOP, Glances, now Inmon. There's, there's several more that I'm, I'm going to end up reviewing before it's all said and done. But uh, anyway, take a look at InMind, guys. Peace.